Yo, what's up guys? In this quick tutorial, we will learn how to give motion graphic shapes an amazing looking layer style effect in After Effects. And yeah, in this example you can just see we have on the right this just plain looking ellipse shape. But on the center and on the left we have yeah, applied some really cool layer styles, which I will teach you in a few seconds. And yeah, we don't need any plugins and it's super simple, so I'd say let's just go right into it. So let's go into our new composition and first of all let's right click in here and make a shape of course. So let's make a shape layer and let's just add an ellipse and a fill real quick. Just like this and we can also open up the ellipse path and just yeah increase the size a bit so we can actually see it better. And now I just want to explain you a yeah, really common mistake that I also made a long time ago. So a lot of people, if they want to add a yeah, gradient effect like this one, will look in the yeah, effects and presets tab right here and look for gradient and yeah, just apply a, a gradient on the shape layer. But oh, yeah, let's just go with this one. But yeah, as you can see, this looks okay. But as soon as we press P for position, for example, and move the shape, you can see yeah, the gradient will not move with the shape. But yeah, we'll just change all the time and this doesn't look good at all. So yeah, let's yeah, go backwards again. And yeah, so let me just introduce you the more efficient technique for this. Yeah, these kind of layer styles. And if we right click on the shape layer, we can see the layer style setting. And yeah, I recommend you to just work with these settings instead of yeah, using drop shadows or yeah, gradient overlays from the effects tab because these ones will actually stay with the shape if you move it or scale it up or whatever. So yeah, let's just go right into it for yeah this example. And first of all, let's yeah press layer styles and add a gradient overlay. And yeah, the yeah the default gradient overlay looks kind of boring. And yeah, I will just show you a website real quick that has yeah multiple gradients for. Yeah, for your projects and I really like this one because you can just select the hex codes and copy it into your yeah, After Effects file. So yeah, we'll put a link to this in the description but yeah, let's just look for a nice gradient that we want to use. And yeah, let's just go with this one. This has a lot of yeah bright colors going on and I like it. So we can just click right click or left click on the hex codes and they will be all automatically copied and then we can go to after effects again and press hit gradient or no and then we can just go to after effects again and yeah click edit gradient just here and then we can put in the value with control v and press ok let's go back to the website and copy the another value and also put it on the second setting here and yeah, just copy this. And of course, you can just uh, make an, an own gradient with your own colors. But yeah, as I said, I think here yeah, a lot of really nice ones. But yeah, let's just press OK. And another tip that I have that I frequently use is I really don't like if gradients have like 90 degrees or 0 degrees in here. So they are just from up to down or left to right. I always like to put in something like 45 degrees in here because I think yeah, this looks more natural. So yeah, this is it for the gradient overlay, but I want to show you one or two more important yeah, layer style effects. So let's right click on here again, go to layer style and I will show you the next one which is the bevel and emboss effect. And yeah, this also is super useful even though nothing changes or not much, but we can just edit these settings. So first of all, let's turn up the size. And yeah, what this does, it just basically gives this whole thing a 3D effect, which is mostly visible on the edges. And yeah, so we can just turn up the size. And I always like to turn down, turn down the, yeah, the shadow because by default it's really strong. So let's turn on the shadow to something like 20% or actually the shadow opacity or even 15%. And yeah, I think this looks cool. Maybe we can even turn up the, the highlight opacity to something like 85 maybe. Yeah, this, this should look good. And yeah, this is really cool. I sometimes even like to add another effect, which is the inner glow effect, which is basically just a little glow around the edge again. And for this one, we can just make the color white 
and just um, increase the size a bit. So as you can see again, we have a little white line around the edge basically. And I think this just enhances the 3D effect of this whole shape, which I really like. And yeah, let's, let's even increase the bevel and emboss size even more because our shape is quite big. So yeah, this, this should look good. Maybe even increase the highlight opacity to 90. But this also, or this always depends on the gradient that you use. So of course on darker gradients, you don't need that much highlights or whatever. Um, but yeah, this looks really cool in my opinion. Of course you can also yeah, use the layer styles to give it a drop shadow. But in this project, we won't see it that much because we have a quite dark background. But of course you can just make a classic drop shadow with this one. Yeah, let's see if we see it a bit, but yeah, not that much. So in this case, this one is quite useless. But yeah, I think this is it for the layer styles. There are still a few yeah, really good effects from the yeah, effects and presets tab, which you can add on top of these layer styles. And yeah, let's just do this real quick. So first of all, I really like to yeah, pre-compose this thing because a few effects will be, yeah, work better if we pre-compose this. So yeah, with this being pre-composed, we can look for a glowy effect. And yeah, <laughs> we have to change a lot of the settings so it will look normal. So first of all, let's increase the glow radius a bit and turn down the glow intensity to 0.2 or 0.3 if we don't have yeah, enough. And maybe just play with the threshold a bit. But yeah, I think a, a glowy effect always looks kind of cool. We can also add a, a noise effect. So just type a noise in here and apply it and just increase the noise a bit to give it a bit of texture basically. But yeah, this is completely up to you. And yeah, I think this one looks really cool. Sometimes I even like to add a Venetian blinds effect and just apply it. And yeah, turn up the transition completion just a bit by like 3% and then bring the direction to 90 degrees. So yeah, we have this, yeah, I, I don't know what this effect looks like, but uh, or what you should call it, but I think this looks a little bit more vintage or whatever. So I really like this one because again, it gives it a bit more texture. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Of course, yeah, you can play around with all of these settings, set all of these settings, so yeah maybe you like another gradient or whatever but yeah that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching and see you next time